Hello and welcome to this edition of Fiery Friday. I'm Rob Lienti, Senior Sales Development Manager for EFI's Fiery Business Unit. And today I'm going to teach you how you can create and add color control bars to your prints with Fiery Control Bar Builder. So in this example, I have a print that we're going to be printing out on our digital print device. And you're going to notice it has what we call a control bar on here. Okay, so what this color control bar is used for, it's used by printers that want to verify that a print uh, that is being printed on their print device is meeting a specific standard in terms of the color output. And additionally, on this example, I also have a slug down here, which has all kinds of information about the calibration that was used, uh, the source profiles, uh, the output profile, so on and so forth. So let me show you how you can create your own uh, color control bars using Fiery Command Workstation and the Graphic Arts Pro package and how you can uh, set it up and then apply it to your jobs in your Fiery. So I'm going to come in here to Command Workstation, go to my Device Center, and we're going to come to Control Bar. You're going to notice here's the control bar that I was referencing on that print, the Fiery Control Bar. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit the Create New button, and this is going to open up our Control Bar Builder. So once the control bar build or opens, we have some different options. We can name the control bar. We can add the color bars that we want based off of what's inside of the Fiery. Or if we decide that we would want to actually want to add our own instead of using one that it's shipped for the Fiery, we could do that as well. In this example here, we're going to use one that we that shipped for the Fiery. We're going to use the Control Wedge 2013. I can then apply it where I want, move it around like so if I decide to. Okay, we'll leave it here where it's at. We'll name it. So in this example, we're going to name this Grackle. And then we're going to come down and go to our job information. And this allows us to then create our slug, which you can see is down here, okay, with all the different information that we want on it. If I want to remove one, I can come here and just click on it, hit the delete button. We can remove a couple of things that we may not want to show on the control bar, like so. And then if we decide we want to move that someplace else, again, we can maybe put that down at the bottom, make the fonts a little bit bigger so we can read it, and then change the color like so. And then page settings, this just depends if you want to give it a different page size for preview. We'll just leave it at 8.5 by 11. So at this point, you hit OK, and you now have your new control bar called Grackle. So to apply it to a job, we'll come to a job. We'll come into our job properties. Come underneath job info, and underneath reporting is going to be our control bar. So we'll select Grackle. Come down and process and hold the job so we can see what it looks like. And again, please keep in mind this is part of the Graphic Arts Pro package on an external server. And on an embedded server, it's part of the Color Right package. So once the job is ripped, we will double click on and look at the finished result. As you can see, the finished result now shows the control bar where we expect it to be. Here is all the slug information that we use to create this. And that's how easy it is to create and add a control bar to your prints. I want to thank you for joining me for this edition of Fiery Friday. If you have any questions about the video you saw today, please feel free to reach out to me at rob.lianti at EFI.com or message me on LinkedIn. Have a great weekend.